Hello everybody. Welcome back again for the data brief sessions. Today we can see how the data bricks can be connected to Power BI and generate beautiful visualization. We all know that Power BI along with the Tableau is one of the best tool available in the market today to visualize the data and that helps the management to take decisions so irrespective of methods whether it is databricks sql synapse snowflake any uh, data sources most of the people prefer this visualization tool either in power bi or table right so let's see how we can connect databricks to power bi so for this demo i have a spin up one new database uh, sorry data bricks and launch the workspace uh, created one compute cluster and after that you can go to the data because we need some data to upload in power bi uh, from the data bricks right so if you look at uh, the ui there are changes happened on the data brick side so uh, previously um, we have workspace repository data compute but if you look at data you can observe that it is more like an sql endpoint previously the gui was different right so i uploaded one sample data legally operating business uh, 2000 this is what the sample data i uploaded and how i uploaded i can show you i don't want to connect any um data to the storage because that again it takes time um anyway i already explained how you can mount the azure data lake gento in one of my previous video i can give the link below in the youtube video you can go back and check right but here I just want to directly upload the file that will go and store it in the um, DBFS um, storage system. So if you install Databricks in Azure, by default, it is mounted to blob storage. So if you are not mounting um, Gen2, then it will automatically store the data there in the blob storage, right? so on the right hand corner you can see new button called add just click on that and there are four options available one is add data where you can add the data from your local system or in just via partner meaning you have multiple partners i think around four partners let's see yeah these are the four partners from using which you can upload the data oh and you have an add an external location where you can if you if you are using any other cloud so you can provide the cloud details there um url that the credential then it can pick the data from there too right and the final option is uh, storage credentials where uh, you can provide the storage credentials authentication and authorization mechanism for accessing stored on your cloud tenant all right but for this demo let's upload it using add data and you can observe that there are many many connectors available now you can directly choose any of this data source right so select one of them and pull the data directly from the sources all right so for this demo i'll just upload the data directly and browse it and show the which file you need to upload it so i already uploaded it so let's go back to the actual data now right so you have this legal operating business 2000 and uh, you can click that then it will show you all the columns available and the data type right if you want you can add the comments that is really good 
if somebody want to understand what exactly the column it's more like a data dictionary but nowadays what happens is we have data catalog so we normally use data catalog to um, have all kind of data dictionary lineage um, or uh, the requirement document um, or all, all other information that required for the data set so if you look at the data type it's basic sorry the table type which is stored in the delta by default now okay i just opened the power bi desktop and uh, now click on get data okay that will open up another window and uh, select azure and on the bottom you can see azure database connector just click on that and click on connect this will open up another window azure databricks where you have to give server host name http path um, and uh, other things are optional so we don't need to worry about that now and now we need to see where you'll get the server host name right now let's go back to the computer compute cluster compute click on the cluster and on the advanced tab you can see it an advanced option you can see jdbc odbc right select that this is the server host name that you need to provide there just select this go back to power bi paste it here and the http path select this one and paste it here so these are the two things that you need it and power bi connectivity they provide two options one is import or direct query so if you prefer import it will connect to the database delta table pull the entire records and store it in power bi so direct query it requires the cluster always and uh, whenever user refresh it will go and pull the data from the delta tables for this demo i'm selecting import and click on ok so now you connect next you need to provide the login details all right so now you can go to the high meta store i didn't create any database so it is in default and here you can see legally operating business why it is not showed the um, credential right previously when i opened up i had to give my credential and that opened up this um, window right i can show you that after this uh, specific table import i can open up and show you how i did that so let's come this let's wait for this now it's showing the preview of the table data then click on load so once you load the remaining activities are same if you know the power bi then just drag and drop and create whatever the visualization that you like right so now you can see the data is loading from there and i can show you small visualization then we can close this power bi application and take it again and see how we can provide uh, the uh, credentials right there are two methods we can give either your ad directory or the um secret okay so on the right hand side you can see all the data you can just uh, drag and drop whatever you need here right so let's take that hope this one is measure yep so this is measure and this is how you can connect so if you want to change the um, visualization you can change like that all right this is how you can connect to the data bricks and generate the visualization right so let me close this power bi for now 
uh, I don't want to save this and open it again previously the credentials were stored in the power bi desktop right that's the reason the second time when i open it was not showing so what uh, i can do is let me remove that from uh, here in the op options and settings and select the data source here it's already stored right so let me remove this clear permissions delete and close it now go to the get data click on more and select azure on the left hand side okay azure azure database connect now you can give uh, the same details where is my detail go here select the server host name and paste it here same way the http path okay. and click on ok now you can see it is showing up another window uh, where we can give the username and password or you can have a personal token that you can generate from the data bricks or even you can use azure active directory right so you can just click on sign in click on your uh, email that will uh, log in into the system then just connect that's it the remaining steps you can follow just get the data then pull it into your power bi dashboard then drag and drop into your white space generate the visualization that you would like to all right so this is what i intend to show in this uh, session and uh, if you have any questions please let me know and uh, i'll come up with more videos next time and uh, thank you for watching have a great day if you would like to receive more such videos please like and subscribe to my channel also if you would like to connect with me i have provided my details here my email and linkedin so thank you very much